Hey everyone and welcome to another Marks and Crafts review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Pop-Up Parade Ray Ayanami long hair version. Now I would say that this is the only Ray Ayanami pop-up parade but they have announced another one which is the tentative name version from uh, movies 3 and 4. Anyway this is Ray Ayanami long hair version from Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0 Thrice Upon a Time which is still the most annoying and pretentious name that I've ever heard of for a franchise that was already pretty pretentious. And as you can see, the box is identical to pretty much everything else that they've done in the pop-up pred line, at least recently, because it's got the more modern uh, sort of logo design. But other than that, there's nothing really special about it beyond the colour scheme of the box, um, but even then, that's not that huge of a difference. So let's crack it open and have a better look. And here is Rei Ayanami long hair version outside of the box. And as you can see, she's pretty well detailed. Now, uh, it's been a while since I've talked about a pop-up parade, but as uh, you may or may not know, depending on how long you've been with this channel, uh, I do quite like them. I do especially like that they tend to tackle IPs and properties and characters that don't normally get stuff, as well as a lot of the more mainline things. And this is the first Evangelion Pop-Up Parade figure and it's an interesting one to start with because it's basically a character that was shown right at the end of the entire thing and the Pop-Up Parade line they're basically the gap figure between prize figures and scale figures and uh, basically that means that they'll be more professionally painted than prize figures generally and uh, they'll be a little worse quality than scales. For the most part, they're better than uh, price and worse than scales, fitting right into their price point, which is a mid-ranged figure. The problem with that is, is that they tend to have paint errors and things like that, or a slightly shoddy paint job, uh, depending on the character figure, things like that. And from the first glance that I can see on this ray, there are problems. There is noticeable mould uh, paint there. Uh, it's just an absolute mess. There's mould lines there as well. The paint in general is just messy all around. Um, that clip on her plug suit just looks off. Uh, some of the fine detail is nice, like the little ribbon decal of her plug suit number. But like there's just no detail in her hair, it just looks like a mess and I don't think that this is uh, an issue with my copy, I think it's just that this is what it's like. Uh, although that on this hair right here is definitely an issue. Um, it's a little bit of a joke actually, um, which is a shame because like from the back the hair looks pretty good, it is two-tone, it gets darker as it goes on uh, and there's a little more detail and things like that throughout it, but it's just really crappily made. <laughs> like it really is not looking good. The gloss coat on the paint doesn't seem consistent. Just lower the camera some more. I don't know if it comes through properly but the glossy white doesn't look right on her legs. It seems a little messy like there's some um, sort of ridges in it just here. Uh, same as on the other leg. It's just not very clean. And a bit closer, it's not clean along the seam. Uh, and it just, it looks also a little bit dirty. Um, and again on her hair, found another one. There's just all these mold lines. And you can see where the hair changes colour between each separate piece. Um, this is actually a horrible figure. <laughs> it's actually really disappointing because it's one that I was really looking forward to as well. But um, it's the problem with pop-up parades. They tend to be incredibly inconsistent. And for the most part, I've had pretty good ones, but I have had errors in the past and I've had to get a full replacement in the past, which might have to happen with this figure as well. Because from a distance, there's nothing wrong with these figures. Uh, they serve the purpose well and everything like that. But when you get close and you start uh, nitpicking it and things like that, especially because pop-up parades will be raising in price 
pretty soon. Uh, it's really a shame. I hope that their quality goes up at that same period, but um, as it stands, they just really are not worth it. Like, I haven't had, haven't collected Pop-Up Parade in a little bit. Um, and generally I do like them, uh, but it's more the IP that they carry, not necessarily the figures themselves. Um, like, I've spoken endlessly about how much I hate their hexagon bases, because they're just so simple. Um, but it's just, it bothers me. Um, I will say that it does read as Rey, and her face is pretty well detailed. Um, which is great because Pop-Up Parade did have a problem early on with pretty trashy um, face designs. Um, but I am just not happy with this overall. There's too many things that I notice, especially on the front of the figure, that just do not do it for me. Um, and it's absolutely a shame. And I don't think, like, even if they fix these actual errors, I don't think it'll fix the actual problem of the hair just being a mess, it's not actually really detailed that much. And they've got an Asuka on the horizon as well as another Ray, and I don't really trust that they'll be the best quality. Um, like, I'm looking forward to all the Cowboy Bebop ones, I'm looking forward to the Berserk one, I'm looking forward to the Ace Attorney ones, um, and then now they're doing God of War, but it's like, if they keep having issues uh, with it, there's not much point of them Take, tackling these IPs if the figures themselves aren't worth it. Um, but that's my rant on this. I don't know, the second I opened this figure, I got, I got mad. <laughs> Look, it's an inexpensive figure. It's the first proper figure that is not an Ichiban Kuji of uh, Ray Longhair, but Sega prize figures have been getting better lately and they are going to be doing a Longhair Ray in a very similar pose. There's been scale figures announced and or released. Although the GEM is probably a bit pricier than it should be, um, but that's Mega House and GM in general. But look, if you want a Ray and it's relatively inexpensive and generally consistent just because you could get paint errors on the face for prize figures, yeah, you can go for this if it matches all your other scale figures, like a big pop up parades, a certain height. If it matches your collection already, yeah, go for it. Um, but if you want to hold out for just a good-looking figure, I would hold out for a good-looking figure. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I have a lot of issues with this one. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed that video, and I'll see you all next time.